you doing guys um we're kind of going to do part two of how to put widgets inside your ibook author um kind of the first video i shown you uh you just go to these websites they make it for you um it's real easy uh fortunately it doesn't give you very many options um it's kind of limited to like youtube videos and google maps uh i'm going to show you how to do it manually using um dash code and so it gives you much more options uh, what you want to use. Now, to give you an idea of what Dash Code does, it basically makes widgets for the Mac desktop. And uh, I'm going to give you some examples right here. There's a weather app and calculator, for instance. Uh, same thing here. We're going to use Dash Code to make widgets for the iBooks author. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is, uh, uh, well, actually, you get a, to be able to get Dash Code now, it's not included with Xcode. So you're going to make a um, developer's account on Apple. It's free once you sign up and then you just download um, Dash Code separately. Once you install it, and you'll see something like this. So you go to Dashboard, Custom, and then you choose that. It'll bring up a template like this. Uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to change the size to use a full screen of an iPad resolution which is uh, 1024 by 768, the native resolution. So we're going to change that now. And uh, we're going to change. Okay, just like so. As you can see, it changes the, uh, the size of the, uh, the widget. Uh, then we're going to go to Run and Share. And uh, I'm going to name this because it makes it easier to find if you're doing a lot of widgets for your iBook author. I'll just name it, let's say, Maps for whatever reason, just like so. And uh, you can, uh, I'm going to go ahead and save that to disk. And I'm going to put that in Documents. Just like so. Um, don't need dash code anymore, so we're going to go ahead and quit that. Um, actually, we'll just cancel that for now. Now, um, here's some uh, other widgets I got in, in the documents. Uh, there's maps. What you can do is right click it and you're going to show package contents. Now, this is kind of like a blank widget. Um, and a lot of this stuff you don't really need. Um, you might need, I'm not sure if you need default, um, which is a picture icon PNG. Uh, you're also going to need definitely the main HTML and the info P list. The rest of this you could probably delete like um, parts and project and everything. Um, we're just going to leave that as is for now. Okay, we're going to open main HTML uh, with a text editor that can edit HTML files. So we're going to go ahead and bring this up. Uh, I'm going to use Bean because I know it works. And uh, there you see the HTML code right here. Now a lot of this you don't need, so we're going to hack some of this out. So uh, we're going to look for a couple of things. Um, for instance, uh, everything between head up here, and then uh, we got head down there. We're going to delete. Uh, I might leave this top code right here uh, alone. So we're going to strip most of that out uh, between. Okay, we're going to take that out. Um, most of the body we don't need. In fact, some of this right here we're going to strip out too. We'll just leave the body right there. And here's the body down here. Of course, it's got a forward slash. That's the ending of the body. We're going to get rid of that. And uh, or you could also save this and use it as a blank template and just add it and then resave it as another file name. That's another way to do it too. Uh, so we're going to actually embed the uh, the uh, code for either the map or the um, the video between the body. And so what we're going to do we're going to go to um, Google real quick. So if you want, let's say a uh, YouTube video. Of course, you would go to the embed code, share video embed, and there's the, uh, of course, um, depending on the size you want to use. It shouldn't be any larger than 
1024 by um, 768. We're just going to keep it this size just for whatever reason. So we're going to um, copy that code just like so. And same thing if you want to use Google Maps, um, anything that uses a HTML code for um, streaming it live or whatever, um, you can do that too. Uh, we're going to go back to the text editor and we're going to paste everything in the body right here. And uh, we're also going to add, um, we're going to center it. Uh, from the beginning and the end. Okay, just like so. And then for the end here, we got to put a forward slash. Oh, I guess we don't. And actually, we should put this on the bottom just like so. Okay, so we already got uh, our um, YouTube uh, video um, HTML embedded. We're going to save that. Just like so. Um, I don't really need Bean anymore. Okay, we're going to go ahead and open iBooks Author. And I already have a book ready to go. I'm going to use my travel guide I'm still working on as an example. And uh, let's say we're going to go ahead and just um, slide it in there. And uh, there it is. Now, it's not showing a, a map icon, but we're actually, I do have a screenshot of a map somewhere. And in fact, I'm going to go to downloads because I've got a better one to use. So you might want to do a screenshot of the mapping data. And I've got one right here. It's not really the right one just to show you. And uh, there we go right there. And uh, you can also, uh, let me see here. Well, actually, uh, I used the wrong one. I should have did a screenshot of the video. Well, you get an idea. You, you'll have to uh, slide the screenshot uh, as you need it. And I probably shouldn't have done it that way, but uh, we're going to end it there.